Welcome to Blockchain Future. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video tonight. Um, the last video that I made was about Chase uh, closing somebody's account, a Proud Boy, for uh, some activity. Um, not positive what it was for, but in any case, they did close the account, which was concerning. And that kind of pivoted the discussion into stable coins. So I just wanted to cover um, some of the different stable coins and what it means. Um, in general, a stable coin is a crypto that is tied to the dollar one to one. So you don't have to worry about the volatility in the market. Um, so if you buy Bitcoin, price goes down, you lose money. But if you actually buy a stable coin, then uh, you don't have to worry about the fluctuation in the price. But one thing that you need to keep in mind is that <clears throat> Not all these are the same. Not all stable coins are created the same. Um, one of the most um, popular stable coins is obviously Tether. Um, it was the first, um, believe it was created on um, Bitfinex and used heavily in Bitfinex. There's billions of dollars of volume going through it uh, every day. Um, but there have been some competitors. Another one here is uh, Coinbase, which uses USDC, USD coin. Um, this coin is also used on some other exchanges, um, not just Coinbase. Uh, so you can actually move money between different exchanges um, in a stable manner without losing money as Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any of the other cryptos go up and down in price. But, um, like I said, they're not all created equally. Both Tether and um, USD Coin are basically just data, glorified databases, so to speak, that are tied to a bank account that is holding the funds. So there's really nothing protecting you from um, if the bank account side of things is um, if there's some sort of crackdown or... If something happens to the funds on the bank side, um, then this coin really, both these coins, which are the two most popular, are uh, they're not tied back to anything um, tangible um, that that is worth any money um, besides the actual bank account. So they're in essence they're not truly de uh, decentralized. But there is another coin which I wanted to bring up, which is uh, Maker Die. Now. DAI is a little different because it is actually backed by um, Ethereum. So there's two ways that you can actually, well, let me explain basically what DAI is. So um, instead of, um, just like with the other stable coins, it is uh, redeemable for one DAI is one US dollar. Um, but uh, instead of it actually being tied back to a bank account, the underlying asset that supports the price is Ethereum. Now, because Ethereum fluctuates in price, um, to create DAI, you actually have to, um, well, this is one way to do it, is you actually open, um, you open up something called a CDP, and you do it through this, um, through this portal here. It's a collateralized debt position um, to uh, create DAI. Now, what you do is you actually, uh, when you open the CDP, you put something like 150% worth of Ethereum for 100% of the worth of DAI. So if you did $150 worth of Ethereum, you would get back $100 in DAI. Now that protects you because if um, the price of Ethereum drops, then the CDP can actually be liquid liquidated. Um, another way to get it is actually going through an exchange and purchasing, just purchasing it directly. Um, and there is something called burning where um, if you close a CDP, for example, um, the, the die is actually burned. Um, and this entire thing um, lives on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, so I, I just wanted to create this video really quick to just kind of show that um, there are stable coins and it does give you the ability to, in essence, have a financial position on completely decentralized on the blockchain or on a blockchain, but they are not equal. Not all of them are equal. Um, I'm not saying anything is inherently bad about Tether or USD coin. Um, they've 
people have always used them successfully and there hasn't been any major issues with them. But I do favor Dive for the reason that I believe it is truly decentralized. And um, going forward, I believe that using something like Dai is um, you're able to basically um, move your finances onto uh, the blockchain and actually have uh, truly decentralized finance or, or DeFi, um, which is a term used uh, by Maker. So um, I will look at possibly doing a video in the future on um, a, a more thorough video on moving completely over to um, decentralized finance. Um, that's a much deeper topic, but I just wanted to make this video quickly and uh, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks.